Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. I'm the wife to a Marine Corps veteran who is also a New York City boy. I'm the mother to three wonderful children and we have a fur baby. Her name is Summer. She is a pit bull and beagle mix. On my channel, I show you so many different things. Yes, it's a variety channel. We garden over here so we can eat healthy. I'm a couponer so we can save money. I raise chickens now. Mm -hmm. So we can have some free eggs and different things like that. It's just so much to find over here. So I hope my channel motivate and inspire you in the different ways that I am showing things. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoy this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the video if it's God's will. Hey y'all, so um, we out here in the garden. Well, I'm out here in the garden, okay? So I want to give y'all a garden update of what everything is looking like for the fall garden. And show you how the Dots Earth is actually working, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So, walking over here, oh, over here to this part. So, I really want to see um, how the transplants are looking. Um, everybody's looking pretty much good. So, right here is the purple sprouting broccoli. All these are purple sprouting broccoli all the way down. We're gonna go down there in a minute. All these up here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so these are purple brown broccolis. I forgot to title those, okay? So I got to come out here and do that. But all these little ones are purple sprouting broccoli. Um, let me step back. This whole row right here is yellow cabbage, yellow Carolina cabbage collards, okay? That's what these are. Um, and I'm glad we're going to be warming back up to at least the 70s. For the rest of the week a um, couple days to give these more time to kind of establish before we get some hard hard cold weather i'm not sure we're gonna get some but y'all know what i'm talking about um right here is all the yellow cabbage and right here is another one but these are my nine star cauliflower okay nine star cauliflower and i transplanted these put dotsimation earth on there um i don't like nothing has been eating them but they go all the way down i do need to go ahead and water them okay then right here is celery wasn't nothing eating the celery but i just wanted to put some there just in case um my giant red this was a volunteer so i got to water everything like i said i hadn't watered i wanted to go ahead and do this video before watering everything but i do gotta water it but this is my red mustard green and like i said it was a volunteer okay these are my walking stick kale walking stick kale they are they so big now all of these that you see i started from seeds my friend that she grows sent me some seeds of all these amazing plants all right so i'm happy about that so these are my walking stick kale and they are all doing so 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 good y'all started these baby from seeds i'm so proud of myself these are my nine star cauliflower i no, yeah not some more nine star cauliflower i got a lot of cauliflower <laughs> um started from seed of course and these i transplanted the other day so they go all the way back there um some more walking stick kale all these are walking stick kale my purple tree collars right there all started from seeds and look how they are looking I started from seeds all in one bucket and then I transplanted everybody. Um, these are these are purple tree collards. I think those are right there and those are. But these right here are my green tree collards. Look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, right here is some collard greens that I had got from Lowe's, okay? And if y'all remember seeing them, the worms had ate them up. But look, no worms no worms not even behind there none of that that dad gonna die to make earth and taking care of business okay um i cut them down and then put it on there and i ain't had no more problems um so i think that's what i'm gonna do anytime i get something even in the summertime from lows if i get some starts i am going to be using my dot to make earth okay 
Um, right here is some more walking stick kales. This is green tree kind of these right here. When you see them like this, they was not, um, they was not, um, I didn't start these ones from seeds. She sent me some cuttings too. Okay, the green tree collars over here, I started from seeds. Like these, that's the purple ones. But these right here, um, they was cuttings. This is the only cutting so far that have not started to grow. I have this one. This is a nothing right here. It was a cutting. It's, it's growing. Um, and then this one right here is growing. That was a cutting, okay? So, I'm um, happy about those. Um, all these grow bags right here are empty. I still got to put stuff in those. Um, my snowdrop kelettes, they ain't came up yet. I don't know. They may not come up. I may have to drop some more seeds for those. They were snowdrop kelettes, um, but they haven't came up. So, let's go ahead and go over here to this side so i did start these these are my snow beans um i did start these from seeds y'all probably remember me doing that i am not going to take them out um i'm leaving them just like this letting them just you know do their thing um i'm gonna see how much i get from it by having you know all them in there like that these are some more snow peas um they actually are the the dwarf gray sugar snap um peas okay i didn't take this out these are the wax beans from this summer i gotta take those out these right here is some more beans i gotta get a trellis on this because i see some of my beans have come up so i do gotta get a trellis on this these are like little weeds but these are some of the beans and these were the sugar snap peas actually peas i keep saying beans um i think these are the same thing too these are all my sweet potatoes. Um, I haven't harvested those yet. I'm going to let them die back a little bit more before harvesting them. So, um, over here in this bed. Let's go over here, y'all. Over here in this bed is... These were some curly kale. That one and that one that came from um from Lowe's so put those in there because I was gonna throw it away okay <laughs> because they was they was tripping all right but they are doing good cut it all the way down uh, right here is my mulberry cuttings from there she grows they was just sticks now look what they are doing look what they doing yes 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 this is a closer look so all I did was put root hormone on them and stuck them in the soil okay and they are doing really 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 good all right y'all so over here is some pakistan mulberry cuttings that have not done anything yet and my dwarf peach um cuttings from there she grows and they haven't done anything yet which is you know they gotta take their little time they gotta take their time it's all good Okay, y'all, so right here is my tangerine tree. And, y'all, if y'all remember, if y'all been following the garden part for a while, I had to cut this all the way down. When I got it from the nursery, it's like it had a disease or something. I cut it all the way down. Now, look what it is doing. So, it's a tangerine. I have a muscadine grape tree. Um, a lemon, um, no, not a lemon tree out here. I have my berry bushes and all that stuff out here. Everything um, is dying back pretty much. I am going to cut this back. This is my blackberry bush. We did get blackberries off from it. But growing it in containers just to show y'all that, hey, you can do it. Um, All my blueberries, I got to clean those out because they got weeds all in it and stuff like that. But that's what it's looking like on this side. Not too much going on on that side. Hey, ladies. Chickens is like, you ain't going to speak to me? <laughs> all right, y'all. So my greenhouse look a little bit of a mess right now. But these are some of the cuttings that I... I'm not cutting some of the seedlings that I had, my nine star cauliflower and stuff like that, that I did not um, transplant. My strawberries I put up in here. Um, and then right here on this paper towel is some um, beans that I let dry it out so I can have more seeds and stuff. But I got to get in here and get this all straightened up and all this stuff because it's getting on my nerve. But yeah. So I did not show y'all my apple tree. If y'all remember, we got this earlier this year. And she is doing good. She was just a little stick. Okay. 
probably halfway up stick and she is doing really really good it is a granny smith no what is that um golden delicious golden delicious apple tree oh y'all i gotta i'm gonna take this off but i love the flowering but this is my coleus um y'all know if y'all been following me i love coleus flowers okay they are so 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 pretty to me let me show y'all two of my moms if y'all saw that live stream where i was doing them these gotta go like i say in the front yard um um in the rose bush and elephant ear part that's the memory for my grandma so i have to put these moms there i haven't done that yet and these are some cotton greens are these cotton what, what was these no they broccoli that i got to go ahead and put up too um that i had got from lowe's but these are the ones i transplanted they're so pretty my mom's my mom's is doing very 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 well oh my grandma will be so happy to see me doing this y'all um i got these yellow ones over here they're pretty and then these right here okay so like i said it's gonna be some warmer days so um i am going to um get out there and do the front part this right here is the plum tree and look how big it's getting i gotta cut it down some for it be too daggone big but it's in a 17 gallon um bin and little tote thing in look how tall this thing got also i do have my peach tree over here and y'all know it gave us a few peaches um that i let stay on too long uh but it's all right she's dying back some um i'm gonna let her stay out here die back or whatever she still get, gave us some two years straight so yeah and she's on a 17 gallon bin too all right y'all so i'm about to water everybody so i put this on my sprayer and i just leave it on my well on my hose and i ain't got nothing in here i don't use the organic this is just the spray that i got i use the all-purpose um, miracle grow when i'm fertilizing when i'm not ain't nothing in here so long as nothing in here nothing is getting fertilized but i do love just to use the thing because of how it does better to me than um some of those some of the actual holes okay like the regular holes like look at this it does so much better to me for me and gets a further reach than just having a rub a regular hole um whole sprout on there so i'll use it just like this even though i don't have nothing in the jar to fertilize it right now i would do fertilizing later this week but i just love to just use this and it's a house so i don't want to have to keep taking it off um even though i got multiple hoses out here like a split i have a splitter and i have like four hoses but still I can make it easier to just not take it off, then that's fine. So I really, really like this. Um, really, really like this because it's powerful. Hopefully, I can get this um, red giant mustard green to come back up some. Like I say, we're supposed to get some decent weather for this week. Um, and hopefully, to get everything to have a a little bit more time to grow um before you know we start getting cold cold weather and stuff like that so yeah so i'm just gonna water everything in y'all they'll say um make sure y'all get y'all fall gardens together i still got a lot more i need to do um but i'm getting it done a little bit at a time a little bit at a time you know and don't forget to try the Diatomaceous Earth, um, cause it really, it is really working, you know, really, really working. So, and you can also do the Diatomaceous Earth as a liquid. Um, you can put it on a spray bottle, add water to it, and you can come out here and just spray it on. Um, and once it dries, it'll turn white, of course. And once it dries, it's back effective. Okay, so. Yep, like I'm watering it now, probably watering it off, but it's still going to be in that soil, okay? Still going to be in the soil. I don't see that white butterfly or whatever it is, white fly, 
whatever it is that, that leave her larva and it turns into them worms that eat your stuff. Since I've been doing that, I ain't saw her back out here. So I don't know if it took her out. I hope it did. But I ain't saw her back out here, okay? So that's a plus. So if anything try to go up in the bucket and you know once they go over that documentation earth i'm hoping it go ahead and just go ahead and take care of it okay that is the plan but giving everybody a good water especially my beans right here well snow peas um everybody a good water good soaking and they should be good because i still have to go to the top and show y'all what's going on at the top um but yeah y'all you can do it so let me finish this and then i will see you at the top deck okay y'all so this is my olive tree right here my patio olive tree she was a little twig and she is looking so 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 healthy this is another little kale um plant curly kale that i got from lowe's a while back this is my meyer lemon patio tree and look she is doing really 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 good so then right here is um <laughs> this was my um uh, lacito kale and worm got to it i had to come out here and spray it. so i'm gonna end up taking all that off where it actually ate and then you know get that together right here is and she's trying to give me some more figs she already gave some this year but this is my fig tree okay and this is a smaller one right here that i had gotten earlier this year right here is my peppermint some rosemary um different types of basil which i gotta cut that down because it's trying to go to seed um and some more rosemary over there which i have to cut off some and then over here this is my variegated lemon if i'm not mistaken yeah my variegated lemon look at it she was just a twig look at her now y'all look at her now so yeah y'all so that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed the garden tour don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you notified each and every time that i upload a video and y'all don't forget to grow your own food okay i'll see you in the next one if it's god's will bye okay y'all so that's the end of the video i hope you were motivated i hope you enjoyed the content don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that i upload a video and also check out the information in the description box below because it has a lot of links to different things that you may be interested in so with that being said y'all be safe and i'll see you in the next one if it's jehovah's will bye